Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are finally doing an off-road review with my wife's Defender. It's been almost a year since we bought this, and I haven't done an off-road review, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Here's a quick look at the Defender. It is a 110, and it basically just has all of the off-road goodies. It has the Explorer pack, so it has the bigger fender flares, it's got off-road tires. You guys can see it's got like the snorkel, that kind of stuff. And we have a great day today because as you can see, it is extremely muddy. And so this is really going to test the four-wheel drive system with the Defender. And so with that being said, let's just get right into the off-roading. So I have it in the uh, snow mode, basically. And then I just put the, uh, actually, I'm not gonna go this way, I'm gonna go a different way. I just put the uh, transfer case into four-wheel drive low. I know that that might seem extreme to put it in four-wheel drive low right off the bat, but we're not gonna be going fast, so might as well get the uh, better gearing, right? I noticed the center locking differential is pretty much on all the time. Oh man, this is so weird. But the rear, it only comes on some of the time and you can see it in that little graph right there. It's cool with the cameras on. They definitely help out quite a bit. There's also, I, I said that it was pretty muddy. There's also, as you can see, some snow today as well. It's not deep, but uh, because of it's you know 30 degrees outside and I walked around on it, it's a, a lot of it's ice um, because people have driven over it and kind of packed it down a bit. So, you know, that should in theory make it a little bit, sorry, I gotta adjust this a little bit. That should in theory make it a little bit more difficult with the traction control system. I will say so far, I know this is not exciting at all, but so far there is zero drama. Like, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily boring because, you know, we're, we're getting places, but I mean, for how, um, just to be blunt, with how crappy these off-road tires are, right, there's not that much sidewall, they're not that wide, it is surprising how well this is doing. Like, I feel like most vehicles, especially this right here, this is pretty slick, I mean, let's see. Wow, it's honestly impressive. Most vehicles with tires like this, I mean, they're they're struggling, they're, they're slipping quite a bit. And so the fact that this is able to do it so easily, it's quite impressive. And the rides, um, it's pretty comfortable. Driving out here, I had to go down a dirt road. I will say, once you get to mid speed with the Defender, it is not comfortable off-road. Uh, this suspension just is not meant for um, anything more than this kind of like lower speed just kind of going around. So, and I mean, it makes sense, right? Land Rover, their whole thing is as slow as possible, as fast as necessary. Everyone's heard it. I do have the suspension raised to the higher ride height setting. Oh, it looks like I'm... I was getting a lit, like it was, that, this is impressive. Oh yeah, you can see, you can hear the four wheel drive system working a bit here, cause the mud. I am honestly super impressed so far. I did not expect this right off the bat, like this, it to be this good. I thought I was gonna have to struggle a little bit more wow so uh i guess first quote unquote test just doing a pretty good job so this is going to be just going down this uh hill here i just went up it uh, again no struggle with the defender um but i want to show like at least a a descent in today's video so you guys can kind of see how the defender performs because with ascending a hill right tires plus the four-wheel drive system whereas when you're descending it's all about gearing and the tires so you know it seems like going up stuff the uh, four-wheel drive system will basically take the tires places that they maybe shouldn't be able to go on other cars and going down the grip is better than i expected so far uh, this isn't a huge incline though to be frank it's only like 16 degrees probably 
but it, the smoothness is what I'm is what I'm looking for. Uh, and I will say the low range is working out pretty dang well on this. Um, I, I don't actually have my foot on the brake or anything, and it's it's got the little like uh, off road cruise control thing on, so it's kind of keeping the speed. And then I I can get into the throttle and make it go a little bit faster if I want, like that. So and we'll go down this last little hill. But yeah, the the descent is it's it's impressive. Again, the tires should not be able to get this this defender through here uh given the mud and the ice and everything and it's doing just fine next quote unquote challenge is this very narrow road that leads into a cave now under normal circumstances in like the summer for example this is not difficult to get to i mean you do have to have at least i would say like nine and a half ten inches of ground clearance to get through here because of how big some of these uh bumps are so you don't bottom out but not that challenging uh, however right now um you guys can see a lot of people have uh, driven through so it's pretty slick on the surface and so again it's going to push the four-wheel drive system and you can't really uh you don't have anywhere to go side to side because there's rocks on the one side uh, and then the other side is just cliff so you can't you can't climb up and <laughs> you can't go down here because you can't make it over the rocks the piles are too big the rocks are too big but again, I, I know this probably looks boring on camera because um, it just does so well with the four-wheel drive system. But yeah, it's 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 impressive. Um, while we're going through this cave, I do want to mention I'm not bored <laughs> with the Defender driving it off-road, but boy, oh boy, is it a slow drive. I mean, seriously, like... Oh, sorry, let me adjust this again because it's falling, of course. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of said it before, as slow as possible, as fast as necessary, but like, it's so slow. Like this little trail area that I'm on, um, my gosh, this GoPro. This little trail area that I'm on, normally, like in in a, in most off-roaders, I can just, I can just clear through this uh, super fast, like within minutes. Whereas with the Defender, yeah, it's definitely taking some time. So this is a uh, pool of water not sure how deep it is. Um, got that Jeep there in case I get stuck, I guess. Man, the four wheel drive system. It's so impressive. You know, again, that pool's not incredibly deep, but still, I mean, we've got super, like this, just give you guys an idea of how slick this mud is. I can, I've got pretty grippy shoes on and I can barely walk on it without, you know, starting for myself, like starting to slide. So I'm just impressed that the vehicle is able to handle the mud so well, given the fact that my two feet are not able to handle the mud so well. I just think it's, I just think it's impressive. Wow. Again, not the most exciting, but again, with the four wheel drive system, man, that was, that was impressive. This little test is not a huge hill, but it's very steep and it's very slick. Now, the reason I'm doing this test is there's another bigger hill that is a similar situation to this. And I am using this as kind of like a proxy to see if I should take the Defender up the uh, bigger hill. So depending on how well the Defender performs on this, will okay there's a little bit of slipping will determine whether or not i do the bigger hill i definitely don't feel comfortable going down the bigger hill after experiencing that because the defender did it definitely again since it's a small hill it's very low risk um but it definitely did slip it did lose uh traction so on a steeper bigger hill definitely struggle it's crazy how well this thing climbs though. Again, the four-wheel drive system takes this places that the tires definitely should not be able to go. And you know, something else I've been impressed with because of the unibody construction, the independent suspension, so with how rigid this is and with the turning radius, it actually makes off-roading, although very, very slow, it, it makes the off-roading, um, very like the maneuverability off-roading is, is is a lot easier so this right here funny enough uh trapped a uh i took a volvo through this and it trapped it could not get out and again the defender in snow and ice whereas i did this with a volvo in the summer 
there's I can hear the four-wheel drive system working a little bit, but it does a pretty dang good job. Yeah. I guess we'll go to the Goliath of a hill. Well, we are going to be going up the steep hill. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't nervous because I am, to be completely frank, extremely nervous about this hill climb, but we are just going to stay on throttle. Okay. I don't think the defender is gonna be able to make it up. I know that, that might seem like I'm chickening out, but again, there's a ledge behind me and if I lose traction and start sliding down the hill, then the chances that I will fly off the ledge are really high. I, again, I saw a Jeep go up this, and but they were going like 30 miles an hour. Like they just momentum the heck up. Yeah, I just, I don't have a good feeling about it. So I think that that's going to put a uh, little bit of a damper on, I guess, our last off-road test with the Defender. Can it make it? Probably if you use momentum, but then you might break some stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. I guess I'll give it... Well, yeah, you can see where I'm digging in, too. Here. I'll give it one more honest go, but I'll be, I'll be slow this time. Because if I have to go fast, then that shows that it's just... It's, it doesn't have the right chops for it. Yeah, it's not really... I mean, I'm kind of making some progress forward, but I'm also kind of just digging myself in oh man here we go I think we might be past the point of no return oh boy <laughs> oh boy ah oh. yeah we're just gonna momentum through here All the wheels are spinning. Okay. <laughs> well, whoo, the Defender made it. I had a heart attack a little bit. Had to, had to, had to do some, some muscle to get up that. Now I gotta go up. So I guess, I guess this will cap off the video. I am extremely impressed with the Defender. I'm extremely impressed with the Defender's four wheel drive system. It gets the place, or gets the place. It takes the Defender to places. Oh my gosh. It takes the Defender to places that the tires should not be able to go. It's just, it's insanity. I don't understand it. And it's, I'm impressed. Land Rover, you did a great job with the, with the four wheel drive system. You didn't admit, like this is seriously impressive. But again, what I, I guess I will cap things off with is it would be cool if the Defender had some better, some better tires. Okay. Well, I'm going to check this out. If, if it turns into anything exciting, I'll show you guys on video. Um, but hopefully I'm not stuck on this hill with the Defender. I'll see you. Thanks for watching the review.